Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Guitar. Welcome back to another fingerstyle arrangement guitar lesson. So in this one, we're gonna check out how to play Dusk Till Dawn. A really powerful song and this arrangement also has a lot of different things that are going on and I'm gonna show you all of that. Okay, so uh, it's gonna be a little challenging in the chorus, but I think you guys are going to be able to do it if you keep practicing. Now, if you're looking out for tabs for this arrangement or on-screen playthrough video for this arrangement and other arrangements as well, all of that can be found over at my Patreon page. I want to thank all you guys who have become my Patreon. I really appreciate it. And yeah, I'll leave the link down in the description box below if you're looking out for some really cool rewards. Okay, let's start with the verse. There's no intro in the song, so here we go. And we're putting up a capo on the second fret. Okay, so capo is on the second fret. That way we are in the same key as the original track. Okay, so that's the verse. We're starting out by playing open on the first string two times. Then third fret on second string. Then open on first string again. Okay, now the bass note comes in. The first one is A minor. So open on fifth string and open on first string together. Right after that, third fret on second string. So, okay, and now, so starting is the same, again you're playing open and open on first string, third fret on second string, back to open on first string, and then for F over here, we're picking three notes, first fret on top string, second fret on third string, and third fret on second string. Okay, so from the start, then, and now, so it's the same as the A minor one, open and open on the first string, third fret on second string, back to open on first string, and now instead of open on first string and fifth string, you have third fret on fifth string for the C chord, and open on first string then third fret on second string so this one is okay and now for the fourth time you're doing this so you're doing a little pull off from three to one on second string back to three open on first string then third fret on top string open on third string and third fret on second string all three pick together so the fourth one once again okay let's start everything from the start let's play all the four parts the next one and after that and then okay now for the second line of the verse Okay, so here we are doing open three times on the first string. Then third fret on second string. And then open on fifth string and first string together. Okay, so. Then you do a hammer on from open to third fret on the first string. Okay, and now, so that's going to be open on first string, third fret on second string, open and open on first string, then same three notes on F that we played before, first fret, second fret, and third fret. So, okay, and then, and then, now you come over here. So that's going to be three times open on first string. One, two, three. 
Then on the fourth time, you're going to play third, fifth, and fifth string along with that. Okay, so four times in total. One, two, three, four. Then you do a hammer on from open to third fret on the first string. And then. Okay, so open on first string, third fret on second string, open on first string again. Then a slide back from five to three on the second string. And now three and three on second string and top string together. Okay, I'm using my thumb over here. Then you can just do a slap by with, with the help of your thumb on the top string okay and then we start with uh, you can call that the pre-chorus okay so let's uh, play the second line of the verse once again whatever you've learned A slap okay now let's start with the pre-chorus Okay, that's the first part that we're going to learn. So here what we're doing is we're using slaps and we're using wrist thumps over here. So the first of all, what we're doing is a hammer on from one to three on the second string. Okay, but along with that, you have to play the bass note. So uh, the same chord, A minor, open on fifth string. Now but, uh, there's an option. On the first beat, you can do a wrist thump like that. Okay, so just over here on this part of the guitar, I'm using my uh, wrist over here, this part, to do this. Okay, so that's gonna happen on the first beat. So let's say uh, four counts, one, two, three, four. Okay, so on the first beat you do the wrist, which is basically usually with the bass note, right? So I just told you to do fifth string open and one to three hammer on on the second string like this so uh, usually on the first beat i mean always on the first beat with the bass note you do the wrist thumb like that so like that okay so if you if you're not uh, too familiar with that if you don't want to do that you can completely leave it out leave it out okay just play the bass note this is for extra effect which is uh, which sounds really nice on this song and we'll be doing this a lot more in the chorus as well okay so like that now let's get back to the fretboard after that you're going to have open and third fret on the first string then first fret on second string then a slap and strum so here with the help of your middle finger you strum on the string with, with that you want to play and on with the thumb you do that on the top string just do a little slap okay so slap with the thumb and strum with the middle finger now over here we're using second string so we're going to play first fret on second string then third fret okay so so far what we've got is this i go really slow okay now after that So coming on F, first fret on top string, second fret on third string, and on the second string, you're going to do a hammer on from one to three, like that. And obviously if you want, you can add the wrist as well. So then open and third fret on the first string, back to first fret on second string, and now slap and strum. The strum is on first fret of second string and second fret of third string. Then after that you go open on third string and second fret on fourth string because right after that you're moving to the c chord okay so so far what we've learned for the pre-chorus is this and then okay so it would be a lot easier if you have the tabs opened up with you now the next part on c major goes like this that's C and G so it's starting out by doing a hammer on from 1 to 3 on the second string along with that the bass note is third fret on the fifth string okay like that and obviously we're doing the wrist as well then open and third fret on the first string 
then first fret on second string and slap and strum where the strum is on first fret of second string and open on third string then third fret of same second string so then three on second string open on third string okay so then on G you play three and three on top string and second string together with, with the rest thumb and then three and three again on second string Open on first string, so then on the slap and strum, what you're doing is okay, so a slap over here, and on the strum, you're picking first string open, and after open, as you saw, a hammer on and pull off from open to first fret and first fret to open. So, okay, and then after that. Third fret on second string and then open on third string. So okay, now the next part of the pre-chorus, we're still in the pre-chorus. Goes like this. So open and open on first string and fifth string. And on the first string, you're actually doing a hammer on from open open to first fret. Then open. Second fret on third string. Then on F you have first fret on first string and second string, and on the first string you're again again doing that hammer on. Okay, and then open on first string, and first fret on second string. Then once again, so. And then on C. So that's third fret on fifth string and op open to first fret hammer on on the first string, then open on first string. And second fret on third string. Sorry about that. And then you do a slide from one to three on second string. Play three again. And then third fret on top string. Open on fourth string. Open on third string. And third fret on second string. So let's play all of that. Come to F. C. Slide. And then on G. Now the next part, so that's open on 5th string, hammer on from open to 1st fret on 1st string, then open and open on 1st string, then on F, same thing, 1st fret on top string, 1st fret on 2nd uh, string and open to 1st fret hammer on, same thing that we did last time, then open on 1st string and 1st fret on 2nd string, and then over here you're doing open to third fret hammer on on the first string and first fret is on the top string and then in the end so just uh, doing a finger roll on C major third fret on fifth string second fret on fourth string open on third string and first fret on uh, second string and right as I finish that I'm going to do a slide from that first fret on second string to the third fret You can go straight into the chorus, but uh, you know, very lightly. What you can do is this. Okay, so you can hear this in the song as well. Open, open on the first string, third fret on second string, open on first string, so, and open, open again. Okay, so, and then just before the chorus, you do a slap. And now we get into the chorus part. Okay, so now this is where it can get a little complicated. So we're gonna break it down. Okay, that's what we're going to learn first. So on A minor, just put your A minor chord on. Open on the fifth string, second fret on fourth and third strings. Okay, pick all three strings together. And along with that, we're going to do the wrist thump over here, like I showed you before, right? After that, so that's another wrist thumb by itself, and then slap. So basically you're getting this. 
okay but in the first beat you're picking that a minor notes okay then after that you're picking open on fifth string and second fret on third string together then second fret on third string so all right now you're going to do a slide from three to five on the first string play five five Then you play third fret on the first string along with that you do the slap so like that okay so let's take it from the slide path okay that's what we have for now after that you're going to do a hammer on from open to third fret on the first string and then you have you come to F the bass note is changing so first fret on the top string and third fret on the fifth on the first string together and here is when you start uh, with the next bar so you again you're going to do the wrist thumb remember I told you with the bass note first beat of the bass note you can do the wrist thumb so we did that on A minor now as soon as we reach to F first beat wrist thumb That's what's happening first so first fret on top string and third fret on first string together along with the wrist thumb then play the uh, wrist thumb by itself then do the slap so and after that you have first fret on top string and first fret on second string together then first fret on second string so from F Okay. and then after that so that's going to be three times third fret on the first string three 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 then come to the first fret on the first string along with that you can do the slap then open on the first string okay so uh, for F okay so from A minor to F Now we come to the C part. Let's see how that goes. Let's see over there. So what we're doing is third fret on fifth string, first fret on second string, and open on first string. Okay, all three strings pick together, and I'm doing the wrist thump as well. Then do the wrist thump, do the slap. So. Third fret on fifth string, first fret on second string together, then first fret on second string, then three 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 on the first string. So now one and one on the first two strings along with that, along with that you do the slap. Then open on first string. And that's all there is for C. Okay, so Now on G you do this. Okay, that's the first part. That's the complete part for G, uh, but let's break it down. Third fret on top string, third fret on se second string, and open on first string. So all three strings play, play together with the wrist thump. Then do the wrist, do the slap. Then after that, you do third fret on second string and top string together. And if you want, you can do another another thumb, another wrist. Sorry, over here. So like that. Okay. Then after that, you do a hammer on from one to three on second string. Open on the first string, third fret on second string. Then third fret on second string. Open on third string, and slap like that. Okay. And then you do the pull off from one to open on the second string and that's all there is for G okay 
Now what's going to happen is you're just going to repeat all the four parts again. Basically, just repeat uh, the, the lines of the chorus are repeating again. So it's um, obviously you're going to repeat everything once again from A minor to F to C. But there's a change in G. Okay, so the part that we learned this first time. This is not repeating the second time. Okay, so uh, we're going to learn that later. First, let's repeat everything from A minor to F to C. Okay, so second time. C. All right, now on G, what's going to happen is this. Okay, so that's what is happening. So third fret on top string, third fret on second string, open on first string, all three strings pick together with the wrist. Then play the wrist, do the slap, it's a wrist again. So like that, okay? Then after that, so you're doing a pull off from seven to five. Okay, so once again, and the third time you do the slap and then play five again so and now we get to the next part of the chorus that's gonna go like this all of that so that's the next part of the chorus that we're going to learn now all right so the first thing is that's what's happening first a minor is the bass note open on fifth string and you're doing a pull off from five to three on the first string then five on second string three on first string then five on first string with the slap so then come back to three on first string. Then again, do the pull off with the bass note from five to three. Same thing repeating again. Fifth fret on second string, third fret on first string, and once again five with the slap. So come back to three. All right. Now. So as you can see, uh, the bass note is changing first of all, moving to F over here, right? Third fret on the fourth string, and you're doing a pull off from a uh, five to three on the first string. Then you have sixth fret on the second string, back to third fret on the first string, then fifth fret on the first string with the slap. So. Come back to third fret on the first string and then repeat this part again. Come back to third fret on the first string. So basically, this whole thing is repeated again. Okay, so from this part, from A minor. Alright, now. Uh, I think this is the most challenging part of the arrangement. Okay, so what we're doing is we're playing, uh, moving to C over here, right? Third fret on the fifth string, then we're playing open on third string and fifth fret on the second string. All three strings pick together with the wrist. Then do the wrist, do the th thumb slap. So after that you have three and five on fifth string and second string then five again on second string so now eight 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 okay three times eighth fret on the first string okay you're gonna have to use your little finger over here and then you do the slap on the eighth fret but over there you're doing a 
slide back to the seventh fret then play seventh fret again that's what's happening on the C chord okay so that's on C now on G you do this so over here third fret on the top string open on second string and seventh fret on the first string okay play all three strings together with the wrist over here then do the wrist do the thumb slap do the wrist again after that you do a pull off from a seven five on the first string along with that you're playing the bass note third fret on, on the first string then again do the pull off seven five on first string now again do the pull off with the slap and then play just the fifth fret on the first string so that's like that okay so once again let's go to the g part all right now you've learned the whole arrangement because now after this you're gonna have to repeat this part the second part of the chorus once again everything from over here right just how in the first part of the chorus we did that two times this part right we repeated that all over again and then we came to this part Repeat this part once again. Okay, just leave it out, leave it at that uh, fifth string on the first, fifth fret on the first string, sorry. And then after that, uh, the arrangement is over, but if you want to extend it, you can just play everything all over again. I mean, the verse, the pre chorus parts, the chorus, all of that. You can just repeat all of that all right so that way you can extend the arrangement okay so that is it for dusk till dawn finger style arrangement guitar lesson i hope you liked it and once again if you're looking out for tabs in pdf playthrough videos with tabs on screen and a lot more content that will help you improve your playing you can go to my patreon page and i'm giving all of that as rewards to everybody who's supporting let's play guitar i really appreciate all your support on patreon and I'm also continuing to make more content over there for you guys. All right, then see you again with the next lesson. Till then, take care and goodbye.